Did you ever have problems streaming your video games? Maybe your stream starting having some hiccups or the quality is just bad. Or maybe your viewer is starting to have a lot of buffering. Well, this may have a lot of different causes and I'm going to use this video to explain to you why it happens and how you can fix it using NVENC with OBS. The first and most common reason why this happens is because your upload speed is not high enough for your streaming. YouTube will let you know with a message on your live dashboard if your upload speed is not high enough. In this case, you can either lower the quality of your stream because it requires less bandwidth or simply, simply buy a new internet connection with better upload speed. As a rule of thumb, you will need between 2000 and 2500 kilobit per second of upload for 720p streams and 6000 kilobit per second for 1080p streams. The second reason why your stream might actually be a little bit choppy is if OBS is dropping frames. This is actually quite rare, but it happens if OBS doesn't have enough CPU power to process the frames that you're sending to it. If this happens, OBS will actually show the number of drop frames in the UI, so just check there if you have this problem. If this happens, you probably want to buy a new computer or use a lower quality in your games, which will require less CPU power, but really buy a new computer. So the third reason and the second one you will encounter on the list of problems streamers have is actually that your computer does not generate enough frames from the game to send it to YouTube. This happens because encoding the video uses an enormous amount of CPU power and your CPU is already used a lot in order to run the game. The problem is that the situation is actually very hard to detect. Indeed, your game is running smoothly on your computer, your CPU does not generate enough frames for OBS to send to YouTube, and OBS is basically saying, oh, I have no problem sending the frames that you're generating to YouTube, because there's very few. YouTube looks at your stream and says, oh, I have no problem receiving your frames, again, because there's very few, so there's no bandwidth problem. So your game is running smoothly on your computer, but your stream is actually choppy, which is not what you want. So a solution would be to simply stop having the CPU encode the video so you can use it entirely for your game while another processor encodes the video for you. That's what NVENC does. It's actually a chip on your video card that encodes everything in the video card and not on your CPU. So it benefits your streaming because you can now use your entire CPU to actually play your game and have it maximum quality and your stream will still be very smooth for your viewers. So what do you need to use NVENC? Well, you need an NVIDIA card, obviously. The list of compatible cards is available at this URL. You also need the NVIDIA drivers. The official ones should be sufficient. You don't need anything else to actually use NVENC. You also need Windows 10 for OBS because it will not work with a previous version of Windows with OBS. I also heard that you can use XSplit, but the streamers I have talked to who have been using NVENC and XSplit had varying results. So you might want to try it out, but this is not covered in this video. Finally, and this is the one of the most important parts, is that you want a really high bandwidth. The reason why is because NVENC does uh, not as a good job of encoding uh, compared to your CPU, so it uses more bandwidth to achieve the same results. Uh, to give you an idea, approximately, you will need 9,000 kilobits per second in order uh, to stream at 1080p, and around 5 to 6,000 kilobits per second in order to stream at 720p. Um, you want to use, as I said earlier, speedtest.net in order to know how much uh, bandwidth you have in upload. If you have less than 5,000, you will probably not be able to use NVENC. If you do have at least 5,000 kilobit per second of upload speed, definitely give it a try to NVENC. So how do you set up NVENC? Well, you open OBS, then you go into the settings. On the left, you select Output. And in the streaming tab at the top, you want to select the encoder NVIDIA NVENC H.264 encoder media foundation. Do not choose the other one. You also want to set your rate control in CBR, constant bitrate, and your bitrate at either 
five to six thousand if you're streaming in 720p 6000 will be obviously a better quality or 9000 if you're streaming at 1080p do not click the checkbox use custom buffer size or advanced simply press ok and you're ready to go and now try it out use these settings in a test stream and look if it works better for you as an example this is my download and upload speed and i'm streaming at 9000 kilobit per second the quality of the videos I do stream is actually quite nice. It is still a little bit choppy because my CPU is not incredibly powerful, but it's way better than what I had before when I was actually using CPU encoding. Before I made this video, a streamer mentioned QuickSync from Intel. That is a similar technology to NVENC, but the hardware chip is not on the video card, it's actually in the CPU. But there are a few drawbacks about using this technology, which is great, don't get me wrong. However, you need a motherboard and a CPU that actually supports a quick sync video or QSV. You also need to activate it in the BIOS and you need to install specific Intel graphics driver. It's a very different process in order to use it. The final steps are still selecting it in OBS, but I'm not going to cover it in this video. Here's a link if you want to try it out by yourself. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it will help you improve the quality of your stream. As a reminder, I'm streaming every Thursday at 8pm Pacific Time. Hope to see you there, bye!